Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer and welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling, the channel dedicated to wrestling video games fueled by my love, passion, and obsession for them. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am playing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, bringing you another one of my created wrestlers, a call if you will, and it is going to be none other than the legendary Dos Caras. Dos Caras, a Lucha Libre legend. A masked superstar, if you don't know who he is, I'm going to tell you all about him. Brother of the famous Bill Mascaras, who is in the game. And I got four outfits for you that I'm bringing in. I had a lot of fun making this call. Again, his mask is already in the game. He wasn't included as a character, which is interesting because he was a hidden character in Virtual Wrestling 64, which was the precursor to Virtual Wrestling 2 on the N64. Uh, the moves profile parameter all that stuff is typed out in a Google spreadsheet that you can find in the description below but right now I'm gonna go over the appearance once again to make the mask in this game when you get to the character screen just press left or right on the d-pad and that brings up the mask option so for the beginning the head shape I went with one for mask again 18 that's his mask in the game Dos Caras you don't have to unlock it and I went with 14 3 10 0 basically light blue red gold and then the default color which is red again body type I went with four and skin tone I went with the second skin tone which is number one ring attire C35 which is like the generic Lucha Libre you know old school attires what Mil Mascaras wore as well 3 and 14 so red and light blue you don't have to unlock this attire either, so if you're just getting the game, you can go ahead and make Dos Caras with, without having to like unlock Mil Mascaras, which is really cool. Although Mil Mascaras is really easy to unlock in this game. A4, and then light blue and light red for the laces. I like the way the light red looks a little bit better with the light blue, but you can change it to regular red if you want. You can do as many altercations as you want. As you saw before, I did the wrist bat wristbands but you don't have to do the wristbands same thing for the second outfit with the mask but all I did was I just inverse the colors on his ring attire and then I inverse the colors on the boots and again I went with red for the boots and then for the laces you can go with blue I changed it while making this video I changed it to light blue I like the way it looks better with the light blue but you can keep it regular blue don't know why I backed out here but I guess I can show you the inverse of the two outfits this is his third outfit, his green, yellow, and red outfit. So 5, 20, 3, 20, green, gold, red, gold. And this outfit is actually based off of his appearance at the 1995 Super J Cup, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. Changed his ring attire to green and gold as well. Here we do give him wristbands, because every time I saw him wear this outfit, he usually had the rest red wristbands on. Boots gold 20, but then I left the laces default zero. He didn't have colored laces for that one. With this mask, his green and red mask, so I made a, a creative choice here. I changed the sort of outline of the eye shape to gold. Originally, if you see when he wears this mask, it's always usually black, but if you see there, the black doesn't really pop well for some reason. The, the, the black colors in this game and across the whole Aki series, were always very weird. They're very like muted and just not not like the full blacks. I'm guessing that has to do with maybe like the colorization available with the N64. I don't know. I think I just made that up. But I was never I'm never really satisfied with using the black color and making a lot of my created wrestlers or even editing outfits. So I decided to go with the gold outline because I think that makes the mask pop a little bit more and looks a, bit, a lot more in line to how his other masks are. With the black outline, you if you watch matches when he wore this outfit, it was very clearly he had the black outline, but I think it looks a little bit better in the game with the gold. You can revert it back to black if you want. You can do whatever you want. It's you know, I'm just showing how I made Dos Caras, and you can take this Dos Caras call, use it as sort of like a template to build your own Dos Caras. He has a bunch of different outfits. There's a blue and silver outfit he wears. There's a black and silver outfit he wears that looks more along the lines to what Mil Mascaras wears. Do whatever you want. I'm just sharing how I made Dos Caras. I hope you enjoyed. 
uh, the appearance and how he looks. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Again, this is not the perfect way to make him. This is just the way I made him. And I'm excited to see what people do with changes to my cause. I always get tweets and mentions, oh, I love your call. I just changed the face or I changed the ring attire. That's the beauty of the Aki games. Almost 20 years later, we're still playing the Aki games and the creator wrestler mode still holds up in my opinion, which is why I never get tired of making cause. I'm going to do a match. Once again, as I do all my cause, I always do a match after I show you how to make them. The full call again in the description below. Make sure you check that description. A lot of useful links in there, not just for this call, but for a lot of other resources that I personally use to go along with this game. And here we go, Dos Caras against El Samurai, representing their 1995 Super J Cup meeting. I'm actually using the third outfit because that is what he wore in the Super J Cup. But his first outfit, his first two outfits that I made as, as part of his cause, as part of this call, I should say, are more synonymous with the look of Dos Caras, the blue and red. Every time you saw him, he was usually wearing those outfits and the Dos Caras mask which is a very popular mask even outside of Mexico you always usually see the blue and red but for here to sort of recreate the 95 J Cup meeting between El Samurai and Dos Caras I went with the outfit he wore in there again legendary wrestler he began his career in 1970 he is still actively wrestling that's 49 years in the ring. Mil Mascaras too, his brother, is also still actively wrestling. Mil Mascaras is his older brother. And if he keeps wrestling until next year, that's going to be 50 years in the ring, Dos Caras. He can still go, man. He was wrestling at the beginning of this year. He wrestled a couple of shows, most notably the Giant Baba Memorial Show with his brother. And that's incredible that he's still wrestling. Inventor of the Dos Caras Clutch, which unfortunately isn't in the game. So I couldn't give him the great Dos Caras clutch. But if you play the Fire Pro series, they have that move in there. He's also made appearances in the Fire Pro Wrestling series. L2 faces. If you don't know, Dos Caras means two faces. His brother Mil Mascaras, which means thousand masks. He's also probably what he's most well known for outside of Lucha Libre. He's the father of Alberto Del Rio, a.k.a. Alberto Del Patron. Alberto Del Rio actually started his in-ring wrestling career in Mexico as a masked wrestler, going simply as Dos Caras Jr., the son of Dos Caras. Well, actually, he wasn't called the son of Dos Caras. That's actually his brother, El Hijo de Dos Caras. <laughs> That's what they do in Mexico, which I think is hilarious. Uh, I mean, I'm Latin, I'm Puerto Rican, and I can totally relate to how in Lucha Libre they put so much emphasis on the family, you know, when your sons are wrestling. But a lot of the times when one wrestler has two sons, you'll see one called, you know, in this case, Dos Caras Jr. And then the other one called El Hijo del Dos Caras, you know, like the son of so-and-so, but then also so-and-so's junior. <laughs> and it's kind of like redundant, you know what I mean? It's like they're both the sons. Why are they? Why is one the junior and one's the son of? They're both the sons. I can totally relate to that because my dad, his name is Jose. His brother, who was born a year later, <laughs> his name is Jose. My dad named me Jose. And then my dad's brother named his son Jose. But growing up, growing up, my cousin was always called the junior. He was the junior, even though we had the same exact name. And he was the junior, and I was just the son of. The son of Jose. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, which isn't a great wrestling name. The son of Jose. <laughs> the El Hijo de Dos Caras sounds way more uh, romantic and better. But I can totally relate. It's probably one of the reasons why I love Lucha Libre. Um, Dos Caras, obviously part of that family. And Dos Caras Jr., Alberto de Rio. There was a lot of, actually, controversy when Alberto, Alberto de Rio came to WWE because he was unmasked and not a lot of people know of his time before WWE with the Dos Caras Jr. mask and he never actually lost that mask in a match so there's a lot of controversy there Dos Caras Sr. still has his mask and Alberto De Rio's other brother who does go by as El Hijo del Dos Caras he had his mask and then lost it and also very briefly he wrestled for NXT 
without the mask before he started wrestling as El Hijo de Dos Caras. You can see him in early days of NXT as Mimo Montenegro. But Dos Caras, and that's just a little bit about the family history. Dos Caras wrestled all over the world, UWA, CMLL, AAA, New Japan, All Japan. I based his moveset off of Virtual Pro Wrestling 64, but really mainly from watching matches of him. It's kind of similar to Mil Mascara's moveset, I'm not gonna lie. They did a lot of things the same way. They wrestled a lot together, they tagged a lot together. In Virtual Wrestling 64, you unlock them as a tag team by winning the ILW tag title. That taunt right there, the flipping taunt, that's Dos Caras' taunt. He does that all the time. And I, when I found that out, my mind was actually blown because that's a taunt I would always use for my created wrestler growing up. I would always do that flipping taunt. And that's actually Dos Caras' signature taunt. You saw I hit him with the jumping DDT and then now hitting him with the rolling German suplex. Again, had to compensate because they don't really have the Dos Caras clutch. He really finished matches with the high flying crossbody, similar to Mu Mascaras. I did give him that as part of his moveset, but you can't close it into a pin, you know, from the standing position. It's just a regular attack. So instead, I just won it with a regular roll-up pin. Flash pins, always a staple of Lucha Libre and Luchadors. I hope you enjoyed this call. I had a lot of fun watching Dos Caras matches. I think I might prefer watching Dos Caras over Mil Mascaras, but shh, don't tell Mil that. He might get upset. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out my other Virtual Wrestling 2 calls and Let's Plays and other calls for the Aki games. Make sure you follow me on Twitch and social media at BeBetterGamer. And until next time, keep watching all the wrestling.